My name's Darren Pritchard and I'm Artistic Director of a company called Company Fierce Academy. The secondments I undertook were, um, I did one with John McGrath from Contact Theatre, he's now Director of the National Theatre of Wales, and I got to shadow him in his many activities. I worked with John Z D. Um, he was at that time rehearsing Marcus de Sade, so I went into his rehearsal room, actually contributed some ideas, so that was kind of really refreshing on an artistic level. I also did a, another secondment with a small organisation called Kids With Dreams, which works with kind of disadvantaged young people in the Salford area, getting them involved in different activities. And I also worked with Wendy Heskey from Wired Aerial, who has um, an amazing bungee assisted technique dancing. She's moved into a lot of vertical wall dance as well. She's called Wired Aerial in Liverpool. So they were very varied and very interesting. My most exciting secondment was with Wendy from Wired Aerial Dance because what she's done is she's basically took contemporary dance to the air and it's really inspiring. She's kind of designed a whole technique with a whole set of equipment and she has engulfed her life in her passion and her art for aerial dance and I remember having a conversation with her and she's like it's all I want to do is fly that's all I want to do and it was amazing how that one vision of her just flying has transcended into this beautiful technique of aerial dance and her and her husband Jamie work tirelessly to kind of get the, to produce their work and their technique and you can't help but be inspired by someone that is engulfed and puts everything into what they do because you know that they're not playing at it so it was really inspiring and I just got to go and jump on a bungee and be pulled by a climber and fly around the room like Storm from X-Men so it was dead exciting. From doing a very big project that I did it's actually took me three years to come up with a new idea and that was because when I had that time out it gave me headspace and I realised how important that was. So I thought instead of producing something that I'm going to rush into, take some time because I finished the secondments and I was straight into another tour and it's only now that things are starting to calm down and actually looking back and reflecting on it, I have got the privilege of doing some quite I do a lot of music videos, so they're highly produced. I've done a big outside show, which had fireworks and pyros. I've done a show with my mum, which was brave and courageous, but that was still quite a big show in the sense that it was produ well produced and toured around Europe. And I'm doing a lot more choir to work now, just it's quite smaller, like I'm doing a one-on-one, -on -one, and then hopefully I'm going to be doing a duet, which is outside, which is going to be almost incidental, whether you come across it. And that's kind of followed on from the conversation of having with the children and just connecting one-on-one -on -one and also spending that time with the choreographers and the really inspirational people because when you get them on their, their own they're very different than when they're selling their products or they're in the work or they're in the studio so I thought if I can produce something that's really intimate and calm as well as quite beautiful it's kind of so it has kind of matured me in a way and you can't go out of a you can't go into the secondments and not come out changed in some way because they're quite because they're so diverse and something's bound to grab you and go oh I never even thought of going in this direction it makes you more kind of courageous just to go into any organization and kind of go hey you've got this idea will you be willing to accept it because that's what we did with the secondments we said we're choreographers can we come in second with you so that kind of method of just going in and going can I do this or can I do that and and aiming a lot higher as well because I remember speaking to John and he was from contact and he was like Darren really make these secondment works for you aim high don't kind of, um, he was like talking about, because he was really infused, he was talking about his economies and he was going really make them work, really work with people that you want to work with, really going to industries that you would not go into. So even speaking to him and about this economy process, if I didn't have that one-on-one -on -one time with him, it, allowed, it gave me kind of license to go, well, yeah, maybe I need to be a bit more braver myself in the work that I produce on my own because the past two pieces of work have been collaborations so I've had an umbrella safety net and 
it's given me the license to go out on a limb, so to speak, and take risks.